Hello friends, welcome to automation community. In the previous video, we have discussed an example in which we used set coil. Today, in this video, we will discuss about the same example, but instead of using set coils, I will be using memory bits and latching. So, let's look at the example first. Example 9. If switch 1 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then motor 1 will be off and motor 2 will be on. If switch 2 is on, then motor 3 and motor 4 will be on. If switch 2 is off, then motor 3 will be off and motor 4 will be on. So let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. We will open Eco Structure Machine Expert. We will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then we will go to configuration tab where we will select a logic controller. I will be using TM221C24R. I'll click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? Yes. And then I can also go to serial line and select protocol as Modbus ACII. I will be using TMS2GDB. And then I will click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. I can also click on full screen mode here and zoom into it. So I will insert a normally open contact here and a coil. I will assign address to the contact as I 0.0. .0. I will add symbol as switch 1. Yes. Then we will assign address to the coil as Q 0.0, .0. and symbol as motor 1. Yes. That is when switch 1 is on motor 1 will be on and when switch 1 is off, motor 1 will be off. Then we will add a new rank here and insert normally open contact and a coil. Then I will assign address to this contact as I 0.0, .0 that is switch 1 and I will assign address to this coil as Q 0.1. I will add symbol as motor 2. Yes. So, when switch 1 is on, motor 2 will be on. And when switch 1 is off, motor 2 will be off. So, we need that when switch 1 is off, motor 2 should be still on. So, I will insert one more normally open contact and connect it like this. And then I will assign address to this contact same as motor 2 that is Q 0.1 that is called latching. So when I turn off switch 1 motor 2 will be on and then when I turn off switch 1 motor 2 will remain on. And then I will add a new rank here. So if switch 2 is on then motor 3 and motor 4 will be on. And then if switch 2 is off, then motor 3 will be off and motor 4 will be on. So in this case, I will latch motor 4. I will insert normally open contact here and a coil. I will assign address to this contact as I 0.1. I will also add symbol as switch 2. Yes. And then I will assign address to the coil 
as q 0 0.2 i will also add symbol as motor 3 yes so here when switch 2 is on motor 3 will be on and then when switch 2 is off motor 3 will be off and we will add a new rank here for motor 4 i will insert normally open contact and a coil then i will assign address to the contact as i 0 0.1 which is switch 2 and then i will assign address to the coil as q 0 0.3 i will add symbol as motor 4 yes so here when switch 2 is on motor 4 will be on and then when switch 2 is off motor 4 should be off so in this case we will add one more normally open contact and assign address to it same as motor 4 which is q 0 0.3 and then i will connect it by drawing a line like this so now when switch 2 is on motor 4 will be on and when switch 2 will be off motor 4 will still remain on so i will exit full screen mode here and compile the program then i will go to commissioning and launch simulator Then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. I will click on a full screen mode. As you can see here, when I turn on switch 1, motor 1 will be on. And also, motor 2 will be on. And then, when I turn off switch 1, motor 1 will be off. But as we have latched motor 2 here, motor 2 will remain on. So when switch 1 is on, motor 1 and motor 2 are on. And when switch 1 is off, motor 2 will be on, but motor 1 will be off. And then when I turn on switch 2, motor 3 will be on and also motor 4 will be on. And then, when I turn off switch 2, motor 3 will be off, but as we have last motor 4 here, when switch 2 is off, motor 4 will remain on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.